Today we are at Xiao Liu Chou, the bat cave. I wonder if there's bats in here. Oh my gosh. Oh, baby. Ellen. <laughs> oh, she didn't come. Hey, guys. <laughs> I'm trying it today. I think I found some Mi in there. Hello, Taiwan, and hello. Do you guys see it? Do you know where I'm at today? <laughs> Today's gonna be such an adventure. If you look, there's a boat, ocean, a whole port. Yes, that's right. Today we are at Xiao Liu Chou. It is an awesome island just on the southern part of Taiwan. So uh, let's go check it out, guys. This place is absolutely beautiful. It is 2.6 square miles and it is just full of amazing great sceneries like what I'm in right now. I'm actually standing in the water right now. <laughs> Anyways, as you can see, this is the big thing here. This is the most popular attraction. This is called Hua Ping Yen, uh, like a rock base. And it's a really beautiful rock formation that just stands right here as well as it leads out into the ocean. This is the only coral island here in Taiwan. So I'm excited to go check that out. Tomorrow, I plan to go snorkeling. And I want to see lots of fun fish, lots of beautiful things. I will take my GoPro, so make sure you guys do that. But for the next two to three videos, I don't know what I'm going to do yet, I'm going to be touring around this island. This is my first time ever coming here, and I'm so excited to check it out with you guys. So I'm just stoked for this. The weather here is actually a lot warmer. I have taken off my pants, got on shorts, put my flip flops back on, and I'm back on the scooter life going around. So this is just, ooh. I want to go enjoy the water, we're going to check it out. And actually, my hotel is right next to Old Street. So I'm excited to go there. We're going to have fun tonight, and tomorrow is going to be another big adventure. So make sure you guys stay tuned, but otherwise, I want to go play. The water's actually really nice. It's not too cold. There's nice beautiful rocks in there. Oh! <laughs> and there's nice like coral little things growing. This place is absolutely beautiful. Okay guys, we are now on our next set of adventures. We're actually walking through these little things. Oh, let me get through here. Oh gosh. Oh, I'm too fat. Okay, here we go, here we go. And, whew, and we're actually just walking through these caves and it's really fun, they're really beautiful and it leads to a place called Mei Ren Tong. Beauty rock, beauty cave. So I'm excited to go check that out and it's just, well, it's just, it just feels nicer. Oh look at this, it's another little cavern as it just drops by so this place is a great place to come to travel and just have a mystical experience. This is going to be the bat cave. I wonder if there's bats in here. Oh my gosh. Oh, here we go. Okay. This is this is really spooky. Salad. Oh, she didn't come. Okay, here we go. Whew. Okay. I think I found some Mijiang in there. Okay guys, I am just getting done now at the caves up here in this beautiful island. Now, I will say however, the caves aren't that big. There are a ton of them, but they're all laid out pretty far away from each other. So you gotta go up all these steps. It's kind of a tiring process. Anyways, they are really beautiful though. I was hoping to see bigger ones. Didn't see it, but I will say this area is wonderful. As you go up here, you'll get lots of great views just to see this whole area and see the wonderful water. Now, if you're wondering how I got here, let me tell you about that. So in order to get to this island, we actually took a boat. We first went to a city just a bit south of Kaohsiung. 
and then we hopped on a boat. It was actually a ferry. And it went for about 20 to 30 minutes, and bam, we're on this island. So it's actually really convenient to get here. You don't have to hop on a plane, it's not expensive. And this island is actually very convenient. All you do is just rent a scooter and you can go around the entire thing. Now, as you can see, this place has lots and lots of oceans, which means lots of seafood. But sadly, I don't really like seafood. I am going to be trying some, hopefully tonight, at the Old Street where it's, there's a night market. Also, I do hope I can find some other really good food that I like. But I love beaches. I grew up in the middle of the United States. There wasn't one ocean, one beach around me. So whenever I get the chance to come to a tropical place like this with a beautiful sandy beach, I take that moment by the horns. Okay guys, well I am ready just to go play a little bit and then we'll maybe have to go see what there is to eat. This is where they have the night market here in Xiaoliao Cho. So I think we should hop on for scooters and check it out. Okay, so the real truth is Xiaoliao Cho isn't too big of an island. Therefore, the population isn't too large. It's just over 10,000 people that live here. Therefore, their night market and their old street area really isn't too bustling. It's not too big and doesn't have too many options. So my family and I, we are going into this restaurant right here to have some noodles. <laughs> Anyways, I do like noodles, so I'm excited for that. After that, guys, we're gonna be heading into this little night market. I do wanna have some more of the little night market snacks. I've seen some good ones. So I'm gonna go eat food, and then we'll jump to the night market. The noodles are ordered, came with shrimp. Look at this little guy. <laughs> Today, I'm gonna be trying out seafood. Now, if you don't know, I don't really like seafood, but I'm trying it today. Okay, you know what? The shrimp isn't actually too bad. It's that seafood taste, like the really strong seafood, almost like like a seaweed, like that kind of taste I don't like. But this was actually not too bad, a nice soft meat. Not too much flavor, but you know what? I think I could like shrimp. <laughs> doesn't have a whole lot of night market food. The options, there's not too many. Which is actually a great thing because that helps you eat healthy. Anyways, my wife is back here. She is ordering some Lu Wei. I'm gonna have some Xian Su Ji with it. I love this stuff. It's a great taste and you know what? It just makes good for an after dinner treat, snack thingy. You know what I'm talking about. Anyways, what I'm most excited for is the dessert. So uh, check this out. Hey guys, <laughs> that's my dessert tonight. I'm so excited. Today was actually hot and I'm ready to jump inside some shaved ice. I got some flavors that I love. I got Tang Yuan, Hong Do, red bean. Um, I got some peanuts and I just got lots of other fun things. Cold ice is always great on a warm day. My mom would be jealous right now. That's right, mom. Be jealous. I am eating cold ice. <laughs> Anyways, guys, thanks for the adventures. Um, you know what? I'm gonna walk on the street and talk to you guys. Okay, guys, today was such an amazing day. I am falling in love with this wonderful island of Xiaoliao Chill. This place has so many great things, and it is just stunning, beautiful, jaw-dropping. I just love the scenery that is here, the nice beaches, and everything else about it. Well, I'm so excited to continue the adventures. Tomorrow, I hope I can go snorkeling, check out more beautiful areas, and just have a fun adventure here in Xiaoliao Cho. So, if you're new, subscribe. I want you to come with me, as well as I want you to come with me on all the rest of my adventures. Okay, guys, I think you guys all know the drill. Until next time, I'll see you in Taiwan. doing a service here. You gotta always clean wherever you go.